The Himalayas, closer to the heavens than any other place in the world, but also a place of rocky soil, scarce oxygen, unmerciful weather. Few living things can survive here on the roof of the world. But one plant defies the odds, growing and even thriving at elevations of up to 14,000 feet, clinging to rocky ledges and drinking scarce water from ancient glaciers. It's called sea buckthorn. For centuries, people in the Himalayas have known about sea buckthorn and the glowing orange fruit that grows on it. And they have revered it, not only for its incredible ability to survive in severity, but also for its unparalleled nutritive qualities, which can help create the perfect life balance. Harvesting sea buckthorn is an art that took generations upon generations to master. The optimal season is short, less than a month, and the fruit must be gently shaken from the plant so only the perfectly ripe fruit falls away. And all the harvesting is done before dawn's light to prevent radiation from sapping the quality out of the harvested fruit. Why such care for harvesting a fruit? The first clue comes from 13 centuries ago, when the ancient Tibetan medical text Sibu Yidian documented many, many pages worth of benefits associated with sea buckthorn, with particular emphasis on its ability to create balance of mind, body, and spirit. Today, Sibu Yidian is backed by hundreds of contemporary research articles. Technologically advanced nutritional analysis shows that, when harvested and processed correctly, Sea buckthorn contains a balanced set of antioxidants and is rich in omega oils 3, 6, 7, and 9. Despite the research, the juice of sea buckthorn has remained a secret known by few outside the Himalayas. Until now. I am a believer that as you follow fate and take it where it leads you, that good things will happen, that you will discover things that enrich your life and create joy and happiness. You know, I think fate's played a really important part in my life uh, throughout my whole life, you know. Uh, I've kind of had opportunities come to me and rather than shy away from them, I've gladly taken the course. As I studied the information on sea buckthorn, uh, I became aware of a uh, history and a legacy of this plant that uh, has never been known in the United States. And so I saw a real interesting opportunity. I have become fascinated with the nutritive value of the sea buckthorn berry. And what is astounding to me is how one teeny berry can contain so many nutrients. It's just fantastic that uh, uh, so much power has been energized into such a small berry. We are really lucky to have been able to develop a process that captures it in its freshness, preserve that because of high altitude processing, and then get it to market as quickly as possible. As we went around the world and discovered all the sources of sea buckthorn, we became familiar with the way sea buckthorn is handled. We wanted to get something totally unique and totally good. And so we were able to come up with a proprietary formula and a treatment and handling of the product that we feel is unique and not applied by anybody else in the world. We feel very fortunate the way this has come to pass. We feel like it was fate that we found out how to process sea buckthorn in a way that will preserve its nutritive value. We aren't sharing that with anybody. It's our proprietary secret and we intend to keep it that way. But we do want to use it to its maximum potential in delivering the best quality product to uh, the inhabitants of the world so that they can enjoy the benefits of the sea buckthorn berry.